poem, This Is Just To Say, written by William Carlos Williams in 1934, is considered an imagist poem in that it is written in ordinary language, but the word choice is dominated with the use of concrete or sensory language. It is a very short poem that reads like a quick note the speaker writes to his wife or significant other before heading off to work. It is divided into three brief stanzas and is purposefully absent of punctuation, rhythm, and rhyme. You have to write really well to break the rules of writing and get away with it. You know what I mean? As the poem opens, it employs the literary device enjambment in the very title and continues throughout the rest of the poem. Enjambment occurs when a thought is split by line breaks. So for instance, the title reads like it should be the first line of the poem because it adds to the overall meaning of the first stanza. The first stanza states, this is just to say, I've eaten the plums that were in the ice box. Concrete words such as eaten, plums, and ice box are simple yet provide a vivid picture of what happened. Additionally, lines three and four tell us that the plums were cold because they were in the ice box, which means they were extra delicious. So from the first stanza, we learn that the topic is about plums, the setting is probably in the kitchen, and the purpose is to let someone know that there is no need to look for the plums because they've already been eaten. Well, that's better than eating them and pretending that you didn't eat them, right? The enchantment continues into the next stanza, which reads, and which you were probably saving for breakfast. So now we learn that the plums were really intended for the person that the speaker was writing to, and this note was more like a confession. Like, My bad, I ate the breakfast burrito you made last night to take to work today. Love you, smiley face. The word breakfast tells us that this note was probably written in the morning before the reader awoke. But on the other hand, one could infer that it was written late in the evening as well after the significant other had fallen asleep. The third stanza opens with the plea, forgive me. This tells us that the speaker knew it was wrong to take the plums and did so anyway. The question that remains is, did he really regret eating them? The last three lines tell us where his heart truly is. He says, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. Perhaps he just couldn't resist them because they looked and tasted so scrumptious but did he have to go into detail explaining just how mouth-watering they were and not leave one? Sounds like a slight jab, but in a playful way. This is just to say represents the beauty of average, typical things that occur in everyday life. It represents moments that we all experience at some point in our lives that can be funny, irritating, loving, and yes, ordinary.